Hi, this is Dr. Kat Vlies and in the next three videos we're going to take a closer look at simple squamous epithelial tissue. We find simple squamous epithelial tissue in quite a few places in the body. We're going to take a look at slides of mesothelium, endothelium and the wall of Bowman's capsules. There are more locations for simple squamous epithelial tissue and you may need to think of a couple more examples. There will be three presentations that cover the simple squamous epithelial tissue. In the first presentation I will cover what mesothelium is, which is the most superficial layer of the serosi in your ventral body cavities. These include your pleural cavities, your pericardial body cavity, and your abdominal pelvic body cavity. In the next presentation, I'll focus on endothelium. Endothelium is the name of the simple squamous epithelial layer that forms the lining of all of our blood vessels and also the lymphatic vessels. There it forms a very slick surface for the blood and the lymph to flow against. And finally, we'll take a look at the outer layer of the kidney, which we call the cortex. In there, you'll see all kinds of little circular structures that we will call Bowman's capsules. The Bowman's capsules, together with the little capillary beds, form these filtration membranes in the kidneys that help filter our blood. To study the simple squamous epithelial tissue in mesothelium, we're going to take a look at a slide that is titled Mesentery. Here we see a sliver of mesentery, which is really the structure that interconnects the many coils of the small intestine, for instance. It is very vascularized, which is why you see lots of reddish circles. And there are lots of little lymph nodules. These are these darker structures that you see. And amidst the blood vessels and the lymph nodules, we have quite a bit of fatty tissue. But, in order for us to locate the mesothelium, which is a simple squamous epithelial layer, we need to look at the surface of this mesentery. And we'll focus primarily on the bottom surface, even though the mesentery, I'm sorry, the mesothelium is also here near the top. Here we're still looking at the mesentery. You can see the original slide right here. But the tiny little red box that you see right about there indicates where I have begun to zoom in on. And I can do that with the magnification slider on the top left corner of my slide. And you can see the location of the website where you can do this. Right near the very surface here, of our mesentery, we begin to see a very thin layer of cells. This is our mesothelium made up of simple squamous epithelial tissue. You see some flattened nuclei here and there, but we will see these even better when we switch to our objective lens, the 40x objective lens that is. Here then we're using the 40x objective lens for total magnification of 400 and this time we can very nicely see the flat nuclei and the flattened cells called the squamous cells that form our simple squamous epithelium. Because of its location, it, it's referred to as mesothelium. So the name of the tissue is called simple squamous epithelial tissue, but the name of the layer is referred to as the mesothelium. In the previous slides, we looked at longitudinal views of simple squamous epithelial tissue, particularly in the form of mesothelium. This time, we're looking at a surface view of mesothelium. And what that means is that you need to pretend that you're hovering around in a little helicopter, hovering over the mesothelium and looking down onto the squamous cells. And so we see individual squamous cells now that look more like little puzzle pieces now. And this is because we're not looking at them from the side anymore. We're looking at them from the top or from above. Inside each cell we very clearly see a distinct nucleus with a nucleolus, the darker spots. 
And the reason why we can see these nuclei, nuclei so well is because this is simple squamous epithelial tissue. And this wraps up our discussion of mesothelium. We'll take a look at some more simple squamous epithelial tissue in part two of the simple squamous epithelial videos. Thanks for watching.